So I have this beautiful old Liberty model guitar phone uh, made by Oscar Schmidt uh, in 1916, I believe. Uh, and I've restored it a little bit. Uh, there's a button missing which I need to replace, but that's about it. <laughs> or a, what do I call it, a guitar or a phone. Anyway, so I've, I've sampled every note on that thing and a few other little things. And I've, uh, I've uh, created a virtual instrument. which you're going to play uh, with the keyboard. Now the uh, original guitar phone was just two octaves with no chromatic notes, but I've uh, gone in and sampled every single one and changed the pitch, so we got all the all the chromatic notes as well. And I've also extended it to A to A. It's normally C to two octaves above C. It's normally from this C to this C. Um, them are the actual notes, but I've extended it down to A and a higher A. So you got like a three octave range from A. I've also put a couple of little uh, effects on. All the different velocities, so that one's played with paper, that one's played with a finger, that one's played with a, a plectrum, and that one's played with a, a metal key. So just some extra little things. Each note's got three velocities. It's got the, the low, very quiet one, one where the hammer's tapped, with the hammer noise, and then finally a, a bounce. And on top of that, I've created a little interface. I'm not sure if you can see it. Interface which I've built uh, where you can change the attack. So added a reverb section. It's all fully customizable. You got the time. Pre-delay time, pre-delay mix. Size of the room. High pass, low pass. Stereo mix and overall mix of it. There's a delay section. Uh, high pass, low pass, the same. Mix, 
Stereoness. Feedback. Let's do a slow slap back delay. And finally, there's a chorus at the bottom. some really cool tones with this thing so You can just turn all these effects off and just have it as a the way uh, nature intended it. Okay, thanks for watching.